Hi, hello. So following our conversation yesterday, we want to tell a little bit more about this uh, new tool that uh, is being developed and uh, was already improved a couple of times. And uh, after a few tests, also in university apiary, I think we, are, we just reached the final stage of it. So uh, I will show what it looks like. This is a cassette and the method is called combined method with the complete brood stop and the trapping comb together with the isolation cage. So this small cassette is a um, standard size and it shall fit in all the frame sizes. Doesn't matter if it's small, Deutsch Normal or it's big, Dadan or uh, Zander one and a half, which are big. So uh, beekeeper can either uh, buy the cassette already attached to the frame like this or he can buy just a small cassette because it can be easily attached to the existing frame that the beekeeper has. It's just enough to remove the screw, make the hole in the frame and attach it. There is a, there is a, a metric screw inside, so it can be used many times. It's not only one time usage. Inside of the cassette, there is a net with the specific holes so the queen bee can go through it uh, with no big fatigue, but there is um, no space to build the comb, so she will not lay. There is no, there will be no brood inside. So this is for the part time. And uh, after a few days, the remove of the clips is opening the hole here so the queen bee can escape and go inside of the uh, isolation cage. It looks like this. Uh, the cassette can be attached either to the empty frame if the uh, family is strong uh, and uh, vital, or for the weaker families, uh, the beekeeper can attach, can cut out the comb and attach the cassette into the existing comb. So that, that's the easier way. And the way is that uh, you open the, the clips, you put the queen bee inside and then lock the clips. This looks like that. And put back everything into the isolation cage, cover the lid, and then place everything inside the hive here. In order to uh, remove the queen, it's just enough to lift the cover, lift the clips, and put the cover back. And that's it. The queen shall uh, leave, and leave the cassette and then go inside the isolation cage where she can lay eggs and where there will be the trapping comb for the varroa mites. So this is, uh, this is the solution. As I mentioned, it's already being tested and it was already tested in many apiaries, including the University Apiary in Lublin by Professor Olszewski and the results are, are very promising. It's, uh, it's said that this combination works perfectly. So it can be also used without uh, the trapping comb. It can on only be used as the complete brood stop without the isolation cage. But if somebody has the isolation cage, the Bamba Bentasha, that he bought before, a year before or two years before, he can just buy the cassette and then he can already combine the two methods. We think it's very, very convenient. Um, the other version of this combined methods uh, is the one... Oh, but before I go on, here I will also show you to compare on Dadant frame. This is the cassette attached to the Dadant frame, Dadant blood, this is. And it goes inside of the isolation cage. What I sent you today is the single frame isolation cage, Dadant blood, together with the frame. And I also send you, sent you one small cassette so you can see that it can be attached to, to regular different frames. The other um, version, let's say, variation of this combined method, which I want to show, is the method by our Belgian beekeeper, um, who was using for many years uh, the Hmare method. 
but now he is convinced that he can go one step further and he doesn't have to use any chemicals by combining both the old Khmare method with the trapping comp method. So what we created for him is a single, uh, single frame isolation cage, uh, which is a little bit wider and it has the vertical excluder inside. Everything fits, of course, in the, in the hive. This is Deutsch Normal uh, size. Here is the queen excluder that uh, can be put inside of the cage. What you see here is um, it's also a kind of a clips that you can either lift up or you can move to the sideways. Why? This is in order to open the gap for the queen that will have to uh, escape from the Khmare part. What I will show now is how to basically use it. So the beekeeper has the cage and uh, he puts the queen excluder inside. There are the special reels, Mirek. It has the special reels. So uh, the excluder is kept in one specific distance, which is ar around one centimeter, um, which is around one centimeter and it doesn't move uh, up and down. So there is the space that the queen will not lay. This is for the specific uh, period of time. And then after this time, so you put it, the queen is inside of the Khmare place and then the cover lid is up. Um, after the specific time, what, is, what can be done in order to remove the queen from the, from the slot? is just, there is a small hole inside you see here. You can just slide the metal part to the left and then one gap is open, or you can slide it to the other side, which makes the other side open. Here is uh, the second gap. So you don't even have to lift uh, the lid and then there will be the gap that the queen bee can escape. But of course, it's also possible that you remove the lid and then you just remove the clips and then the queen has just two open gaps. Of course, you have to cover the lid and then the queen bee will go inside the trapping comb part where she can lay eggs and then the mites will be trapped. And Eddie will make a project about it and we already prepared for him uh, the test batch of the cages. But we think that for the beekeepers who are starting with the methods, it will be also possible to make this kind of a, uh, extended one frame or two frame isolation cages so they can play with both methods in one. It can be decided. But here uh, I want to show that the production is already ongoing and uh, uh, we are ready with the with the, with the uh, section uh, isolation cage, as we call it. And this is attached actually to Langstroth or Thunder frames or Wielkopolski, Dadant or different frames. And depending what beekeeper wants, he can buy it either on the frame installed or he can buy just the empty cassette and uh, attach it himself to the frame. Uh, the tests were already run. Uh, as I mentioned, uh, we discussed it with Professor Olszewski and uh, Mariusza Hoa that these methods, <laughs> they, were, they, were, they were creating this, um, these tools themselves in the, let's say, homemade versions with the plastic queen excluder. But of course, it's not possible that every beekeeper plays with and, and create uh, the tool for himself. This takes time. Sometimes it's just enough to buy the tool and make it quicker and, and easier, and this is professionally made with all the spacing. Uh, so it will be available and it will be working perfectly. So thank you very much. Wait for our parcel for you.